I found 19 small town side hustles where you can make money without having to leave your town. And you're gonna get some great ideas for this, whether you just wanna make money online or you want to make money from going out and doing something. And most of these you can start completely free or less than $100, and they don't require you to have previous experience or be skilled at it. So if you appreciate me making this type of video, go ahead, cheers the like button, and let's jump into it right now. All right, so the first one on the list is going to be an auto detailing business. Now, depending Depending on the size of the town that you live in, you could start a mobile auto detailing business or you could just start a business at your house and then have people bring it there. And of course you can start this out on a very small scale, just having a couple clients. And then later on, you can build your way up to having a full blown business. And auto detailing basically means that you're cleaning, restoring and enhancing the appearance of a vehicle. And this could be both on the inside and the outside. So this goes beyond just a regular car wash. You'd be doing things like waxing, polishing and deep cleaning the outside of a car. And then you could also be deep cleaning the interior of the car as well. And you'll typically make between 60 and four $450 for every single car that you detail. So this is a really good one to get started with. Lots of opportunities out there. It's one of those where you do have to do manual work. Not everybody wants to do that, but that's one of the easiest ways to make money. There's plenty of tutorials online on exactly how to detail your car. Really good one. I'm going to go ahead and give it an 8.5 out of 10 opportunity score. And by the way, I just want to let you know that I'm going to be doing a free training on how to grow and monetize your YouTube channel. And it's going to be on Tuesday at 9 p.m. Eastern time. It'll be a live interactive Zoom call with me where I can answer questions that you have about YouTube. And I'll also be revealing the five biggest secrets when it comes to growing and making money from YouTube. And this is what you can do to either add a couple thousand dollars a month to your income or even grow a full-time income purely from making content on YouTube. And when I started out on YouTube, I was working as a pharmacist full-time, but within a few months of starting, I was getting messages like this in my inbox. And all of a sudden I was adding thousands of dollars on top of my full-time job. Now, if you wanna do the same, make sure to join the live training because I'll also be giving away a free mini course only to the people who show up to it. This is not going to happen anywhere else. There will be no replays and there's limited seating. So make sure you sign up by clicking the link down in the description as well as the pinned comment below. And I look forward to seeing you there. Next is going to be an errand running business. Now this is actually very common in bigger cities, but in small and medium sized towns, it's not as common, but there is an emerging market for it. And this could be anything from grocery shopping to mailing a package to picking up some laundry. And there are more and more people out there that are money rich, but time poor. And it's especially common to hire these types of positions for senior citizens. And senior citizens tend to have more money than younger people. And you can typically make anywhere from 15 to $45 an hour running errands. Now it doesn't take very much skill to do this. You will typically need to have a car, but it's another one of those where if you're willing to put in the work, it's a pretty easy way of making money. So yeah, this is another good one. I'm going to give it a 7.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be furniture refurbishing or furniture buying and selling. So this is a super, super good side hustle guys. Like I know people that are making hundreds and hundreds of thousands of dollars a year doing this. And basically you go and collect furniture that people either threw away. So there's probably certain spots in your town where people just put couches, for instance, on the side of the road. You can also look at dumpsters or you can look outside of fraternity houses or different scholarship halls or dorms when the semesters end. And a lot of the time people will just throw really good furniture out or you can buy cheap furniture on Craigslist or Facebook Marketplace. And then you fix it up, you clean it, you refurbish it, and then you sell it for sometimes 10 times more. Now, if you think about it, a brand new couch, a lot of the time is going to cost like $5,000. Then after maybe five years of somebody using it, they end up throwing it away because they think it's too dirty or something something like that. So what you do is you go in, you clean the couch, you refurbish it, you fix it up a bit, and then you resell it for something like $2,000. And the person you sell it to thinks that they're getting a great deal because it's a $5,000 couch. So this is something I've seen a ton of people do. It's a great way of making money. I'm going to give this one an 8.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Now, another thing you can do is start a furniture carpet or bed cleaning business. This is literally kind of like a cleaning business, but you focus and specialize in cleaning furniture, carpets, and beds. And the reason you focus on this is because most cleaning businesses out there actually don't do this. They'll sweep, they'll mop, they'll vacuum, and they'll do all that kind of thing, but they don't focus on cleaning beds or furniture or couches. And the reason for that is because you have to have certain specialized deep cleaning equipment. But that means you can come in, charge like three or four times more, and clean those things for people. And I used 
to live in kind of a medium sized town and I was looking for somebody that did this and I literally could not find anybody that did this. It was absolutely ridiculous. And I was willing to pay them way, way more per hour than I pay a traditional cleaning service, but I couldn't find anyone. So there's lots of opportunities out there for this type of business model. So yeah, this is a really good one. I'm gonna give it a nine out of 10 opportunity score. Another one that's very similar to this is just a traditional cleaning business. And honestly, even with traditional cleaning businesses, you can still make a ton of money. So this is where you'd be vacuuming, mopping, sweeping, dusting, etc. This can be really good too. There's still a lot of opportunities here. I know plenty of people who started one person businesses and they make over six figures a year doing this. So yeah, another really good one. I'm going to go ahead and give it a seven out of 10 opportunity score. Another similar type of business would be one where you help people to organize things. So this is literally where you would go in, maybe you go into someone's shop or someone's workstation or a business and you help them to organize things so that they are orderly. They're all in the right place and they look nice. So most people, when they go into their garage, it's an absolute mess and people don't like to see that, but at the same time, they're too busy to fix it, but they will actually pay you to go in there and organize things for them. In many cases, this involves color coding things, labeling things, bundling wires together, cleaning things up a little bit, organizing them and putting them in a place that makes sense, et cetera, et cetera. So if you're someone who likes to do this anyways, which I know a lot of people out there do like that, this could be a great business for you to start. So I'm gonna go ahead and give this one an eight out of 10 opportunity score. Another interesting side hustle to try out would be becoming a local tour guy. So this one is especially good if you live in more of a medium sized town. And what people can do is when they first move to the town or when they first visit the town, they would hire you as a local tour guide to show them around. And this saves them a lot of time, effort and money knowing what restaurants to go to that are good, what stores to go to that are worth shopping at, what are things to do in the town that are fun, etc, etc. And a half day tour with a private guide usually runs for 100 to $300. And think about all the value you give and the time that you're saving that person. It totally makes sense to do this. And I will absolutely hire a local tour guide whenever I go to a new place. And so you can start this business. Now, chances are you're not going to be getting jobs all the time, but this is a really good way of making a little bit of extra money, maybe once every two weeks. And you can post these types of jobs on Facebook or Craigslist. So yeah, I'll give this one a seven out of 10 opportunity score. Now, if you live in a bigger city, this one can actually be a full-time job. Next is going to be selling homegrown veggies or something like healthy chickens. So there's a lot of people out there that are very concerned with all of the pesticides and all of the chemicals, et cetera, that are pumped into our foods. Many people out there have allergic reactions to them, or they're just very sensitive to them. They have a lot of inflammation. And so there's a lot of opportunity for people to actually sell these things. And so if you can raise non-industrial grade uh, chickens, or you can basically make vegetables that don't have a bunch of pesticides on them, that can be incredibly valuable to other people. And they're willing to pay a premium for that. So of course you could sell this on Craigslist, Facebook marketplace, or go to something like a farmer's market. And so this can be a really good side hustle to do. I'll go ahead and give it a a seven out of 10 opportunity score. And then the second one I talked about, which is raising and selling chickens or eggs, or you could even go as big as cattle if you have the room for it. Again, you want to do this in a healthy way. You don't want to do it where there's a bunch of slaughterhouses and the cows are just all in together and you're feeding them steroids like a lot of the big corporations do. And that's why the meat is so unhealthy. Then people are going to be willing to pay a premium for that. So this one's even a little bit better in my opinion. I'll go ahead and give it a 7.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be retail arbitrage. So if you live in a small town, there's a good chance that there's certain items that are a little bit difficult to get in that town. They're either difficult to get or they seem rare or they just seem unique and people in the small town haven't seen them. So you can find those items and then you can do what's known as retail arbitrage. So I actually did this when I was young and I found this item called a credit card knife. And I would actually go to all kinds of different fairs and festivals and I would sell these credit card knives. And this was basically just a little knife that looked like it was in the form of a credit card and it would fit in your wallet. But if you folded it up in the right way, it would actually be a knife. And this could be used for self-defense, I guess, but mostly it's just used for day-to-day -day kind of things like cutting up an apple. And so I would buy these knives in bulk and I think I would pay something like 10 or 15 cents for each one of them. And then I would end up selling them for $5 each. So I was making an absolute ridiculous profit on these knives. So yeah, retail arbitrage is great. I'm going to go ahead and give this one an 8.5 out of 10 opportunity score. The next one is very similar to that, but it has more to do with your knowledge of different items. And that is flipping. So you could flip just about anything out there. This is something I've done since I was a kid. You could flip cars, bikes, video games, phones, different types of gaming consoles, etc. And basically what you need to know is the real value of all of these different items. And then you literally just buy low and sell high. It's as simple as that. There's people out there, if they're moving from one town to another, they might have a garage sale and they'll sell something like 50% lower just for the sake of time. So you can go and buy that and then you can resell it for 50% higher. You make a 50% profit margin. So this one is really 
good. One of the oldest side hustles known to man, one that I've done pretty much my whole life. It's amazing. I'm going to go ahead and give this one a nine out of 10 opportunity score. Now, by the way, just about all of these different types of business models need what's known as marketing. Now, some of them need very basic marketing because there's just such a huge need for them, but others you're going to really do well if you have a little bit of online marketing and the best type of marketing is what's known as digital marketing. Now you can either learn this on your own, or you could get paid to learn it by getting a digital marketing job, which by the way, you can get in a small town as well. And I've actually helped a ton of people get digital marketing jobs and I've interviewed them on this channel. For instance, this person and them and them as well. And they all got jobs through my good friend, Seth. And Seth is basically the greatest of all time at teaching people how to get entry level digital marketing jobs. And he does have a free masterclass, which I'm going to put down in the description as well as the pinned comment below. So definitely check that out. Next is going to be renting out your car or truck. So this is one where you need to be careful with it. Uh, make sure you have insurance on it and it's, you know, you're doing it in a legit way, but you can actually rent out your car and truck relatively easily. There's this guy, for instance, who makes over 14,000 per month renting his cars to strangers. Turo may or may not be available in your area. That's an app you can use to do this. If not, you can always go through Facebook or Craigslist. And yeah, a lot of the time people might need a truck and you can go ahead and rent it out to them. So yeah, this one could be pretty good. I'll go ahead and give it a seven out of 10 opportunity score. Another really good one is renting out equipment. So this could be renting out unused tools, a lawnmower, a chainsaw, a power drill, a leaf blower, a pressure cleaner, etc. You can also rent out things like baby gear like this lady does. She makes $5,000 a month doing that. She uses a website called baby quip. There's another website called rent my equipment where you can rent out all kinds of different stuff. And there's examples where you can rent out things as simple as a bucket, right? People sometimes just need a bucket and they'll pay you like five or 10 bucks in order to use your bucket, right? So this is a legit side hustle. People are making really good money doing this. I'm actually going to give this one a really high rating because there's all kinds of equipment out there that people need for short periods of time. And it's really difficult to rent it. So I'm going to give this one a nine out of 10 opportunity score. The key here is to find the right equipment that people are searching for and they're willing to pay good money for in order to rent it. That's going to be the best way to make money. The next one is going to be farm sitting. And this is basically where you take care of someone's farm while they're out on vacation. So this one does require a little bit of knowledge about how to take care of a farm. It doesn't really take that much, but just some basic stuff about, you know, how to feed animals, how to check on them to make sure they're okay, et cetera, et cetera. But yeah, farmers will, you know, pay you a lot of money to take care of their farm while they're gone. This is kind of like house sitting on steroids. So you can get paid even more money than that. And farm sitting jobs usually pay about $19 per hour. And you basically just get to hang out on their farm. So yeah, this one's pretty good. I'll go ahead and give it a six out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be a rideshare driver or a grocery deliverer. And of course, there's a million different apps out there you can use for this Uber, Instacart, Grubhub, etc. But basically you'd just be delivering food to people or you'd be helping them get from point A to point B. Classic side hustle, millions of people do it. Very easy to make money. There's even a guy who made $100,000 delivering groceries. He was using the app Shipped. Is pretty rare to make that much money though. But in certain areas that you're in, they pay more for delivery drivers and, and deliverers because of the fact that there's not that many people doing it. So depending on the area you live in, there's not that many people doing it, that could be a great opportunity for you. And a lot of rideshare drivers make anywhere from 22 to $40 per hour when you count tips. So yeah, this one's pretty good, very solid. Uh, also one that everybody knows about. So I'm gonna go ahead and give it a 7.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be a tutor. Now you could be an online tutor or a local tutor. And what you wanna do is specialize in a specific subject. That's how you get paid the big bucks when it comes to tutoring. I did this myself and I made over $100 per hour. What I did is I would tutor people on how to pass specific tests. One test was the PCAT or the pharmacy college admissions test. And I would charge over $100 an hour to tutor people on this. Another test that I tutored on was is the ACT. You're probably very familiar with that. That's basically a standardized test that almost everyone takes in high school. And I charge really good money for that as well. So you definitely want to niche down and basically be a specific type of tutor. Although in a smaller town, you could probably be more of a generalist and you'd be fine. And a lot of tutors make between 25 and $80 per hour. So this one's really good. I'm going to give it a nine out of 10 opportunity score. By the way, if you'd like me to tutor you on how to do YouTube, I do have some free training, which you can check out down in the description as well as the pinned comment below. I've grown this YouTube channel the six figures per month. And I only have to work four hours a week in order to do it. It's given me time, freedom and location independence. I can live anywhere in the world that I want. And I travel all over the world. I haven't been back to the US in over two years. And it's been absolutely amazing. So I teach you guys how to do that in the link down in the pinned comment in the description below. And also I do coach a few people every month on how to do it one on one, but I can only coach a few people because my time is very limited. But I have helped a bunch of people grow and make money from their YouTube channel. So if you want
want to apply for that, you can as well. It'll be on the same page in that same link. The next one is going to be pet sitting. And this is basically where you go to someone's house while they're out of town and you take care of their pets. So you make sure that they have food, water, and they're properly taken care of. This is becoming more and more common in small and medium sized towns. And it's a great way to make money. And you can actually turn this into a full-time business if you'd like as well. There's a story of this person who started an $8,000 per month in-home pet care service. So yeah, you can definitely make money doing this. At bare minimum, you're going to be making like $15 an hour. For small towns, I'll give this one a 7.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Another really good one is a dog walking service. So this is where you go and you walk someone's dog while they're at work or maybe when they're out of town. And in this one, you do have to deal with, you know, cleaning up the poop of the dog. So it's a little more intensive and you typically get paid a little bit more per hour doing this. So this is an even better opportunity, I think. I'm going to give this one an 8 out of 10 opportunity score. And by the way, I did make a side hustle idea tier list for beginners. It did really well. People absolutely loved it. And you can check that out by clicking right here.